Chinatown News takes a look at Seattle Summer 96. Seafair Weekend came to Seattle. There was a little rain, but it didn't dampen the spirits of the thousands who came to watch the Torchlight Parade. But no matter what the weather, it's always blue skies for the Blue Angels, who finally returned to Seattle, this time flying over Queen Anne and Magnolia, prompting some complaints from the locals. It was so loud. We couldn't hear ourselves talk to discuss the new colors for the Land Cruiser. The house shook so hard that the IKEA catalog fell off the dining room table. <laughs> Seahawks return! The Seattle Seahawks make a triumphant return to the Northwest after languishing in Southern California. Go get them, boys. That's the spirit. And speaking of sports, this local track star was truly a unique story at the 96 Olympics. He was the only Olympic athlete who didn't have a friend, family member, or coach die in some horrible accident just before the games. And talking about accidents, this was the summer little old Seattle joined the big time with its own Planet Hollywood, where excited locals lined up to see real props from hit movies, like Tony Danza's eyebrow. <laughs> and the presses were rolling this summer at the Seattle Times, where publisher Frank Blethen made headlines himself when he shot the neighbor's dog for messing on his lawn. <laughs> Sorry, pooch. Better poop on the P.I. the next time, said the peep publisher. And that's the headlines for Seattle's Great Summer of 96. All right, it's great to be back. We have a wonderful show, and stay with us, because we'll 